The Jim Channel Podcast, bringing you the big picture on geoscientific information management through interviews and discussions. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Acquire's podcast, The Jim Channel, where we invite people involved in the mining industry and related businesses to join us in discussing key topics in the industry at present. My name is Misha, and today I'm joined by our Director of Product, Steve Mundell. Welcome, Steve. Hey, Mish. Thanks for having us. Great to have you on board again. So if you've been listening to our podcast previously, you'll know that this um, isn't Steve's first time on our podcast. Um, you can go back and hear previous discussions that we've had with, with Steve if you go to our SoundCloud or Apple Podcasts account. But this year we've invited Steve back on the Gym Channel to talk about one of the largest industry events coming up in a couple of weeks, PDAC 2019 or PDAC. Um, and what you can expect, uh, what you can expect to learn about in relation to geoscience data software and trends in the industry. PDAC is being hosted in Toronto um, in early March, and Acquire is running a series of presentations or gym talks at their booth number eight two three over the four day event. So, Steve, maybe we can start with some insights about what delegates can expect to see at the Acquire booth. Late last year, we released our latest software update, Gym Suite 4. Is this an opportunity for, for users to see the software in use if they haven't before? Yeah, Misha, I mean, this is a great opportunity, as it is each year, for everyone to engage with the team and see what we've been working on and see the software that we've, um, that we've released. And, you know, late last year, we saw the release of Gym Suite 4, and it really focused on the integration with uh, Index uh, and also the introduction of our new web, web interface, uh, called Arena. Now, Arena is going to be the focal point for a lot of upcoming developments. So, you know what we're um, what we're going to do in through a few presentations this year at the booth is take a look, close look at how it can help you in your operations. So, yeah, you know, there's there's mainly two um, presentations I'd like to talk about today or introduce. And um, the first one is going to look at data visualizations across printed logs and. Uh, interactive dashboards and here we're going to look at how you can use Arena to create interactive web-based experiences for users so they can really get in and explore data and and gather some insights and and visualize complex geoscientific data. Um, The second is that we're going to take a closer look at tracking drilling performance and how Gym Suite can help you make uh, effective decisions with this data. So, you know, we'll be looking at how you can pull together multiple sources of data and gather insight through these immersive dashboards that you can create through Arena. So, you know, it's not just limited to, to those two things as well beyond the presentations. Uh, is that, you know, um, the teams there can take you through the software, give you a close look and uh, give a bit of a hands-on experience through it. So, yeah, really looking forward to connecting with people on that. Sounds like there'll be a lot of activity at, at the booth, which is great. So along with the latest software update, Gym Suite 4, is there anything new that delegates can expect to see at the booth this year? I mean, if they've already been introduced to some of that software, what is maybe some upcoming insights or peaks um, that we might see about future software releases? Yeah, I mean, this is a great opportunity for us to um, yeah show what we've been been working on and what we're working on for our, our releases coming out later in the year. And yeah, you know, the the main thing that we we want to talk about this year is around data capture. And you know, I think everyone realised that data capture is one of those things that really defines geoscientific information management. And it, and so it's a real focus for us. Now, I think sometimes it can be trivialised as how important it is to capture the data and make sure it's is really correct at that point of capture. Um, but you know, it's a real focus, real philosophy for for us is to ensure that data is captured correctly right at that that point. Um, so this year we're going to be looking to enhance our integrated uh, digital data capture tools uh, and really improve the mobility um, of these tools and to simplify the deployment and synchronisation uh, of the data while still maintaining your confidence in the data quality. So, you know, we're going to have a presentation at the booth so you can go through this in detail and also have the opportunity to get a hands-on experience with this stuff so you can see what we're, what we're doing and, you know, have a look at the next generation of digital tools that are coming from Acquire. Oh, sounds interesting. Looking at those digital tools going forward, Steve, um, I guess we as a company speak a lot about the industry-wide trend moving towards smarter mining and digitalization of mining and how our software is journeying in this direction as well. How is this trend influencing our technology roadmap? 
Yeah, I think um, the main thing to take away from these trends you know, around this smart mining and digitalization is the importance um, that, or the increased importance that it's placing on data. And so when you get this, this importance, this increase in the dependence on the, on the data or in the, you know, the increased desire for access and visibility to the data. So as people um, start to need the data, then you, know, you really do get this dependence on it. And so what it's raising um, is the need for enhanced or uh, advanced capabilities with regard to data management. And now what we're talking about here are, are things like performance and you know, the ability to configure um, the system to your needs and connect with other business systems and you know, ensuring quality uh, and maximizing the uptime or the availability um, of, of systems and also, and also data across multiple platforms. And so what you're going to see uh, in our roadmap coming up, um, and also with these things that I've already talked about, um, you know, that we're presenting at the booth this year, is these themes um, are, uh, you know, constantly coming up in our roadmap. So I think more specifically around data quality and the availability of data, you know. So in our um, upcoming releases, you know, we're really focusing on, on data quality around data capture. So ensuring that, you know, when you're taking those observations in the field um, and those measurements in the field is that they're validated there, you can be sure of them when you're using them in your model and your, your next interpretation, you can have the assurity that they're correct. And also, you know, when we're looking at the, um, the availability of systems, you know, we're, we're introducing mobile uh, into our solution. So that's just increasing the, um, the ability or increasing the availability of geologists to take observations how, when and, and where they, they need. So it's these kinds of themes that you'll see coming up um, in our roadmap into the future um, that are really supporting these trends into you know, smarter mining um, and digitalization. Oh, thanks for that, that insight there. I guess um, the digital mine or smarter mining we see used quite regularly in the industry. It is, it is a big hot topic. A uh, report that I just recently read um, put out by Ernst & Young they do an annual report called the 10 Business Risks Facing Mining and Metals in 2019 to 2020. And the report this year highlighted an era of dis uh, disruption with digital, effective digital effectiveness listed as number two on their list. And they state that digital effectiveness is key to businesses gaining a competitive advantage. However, a recent poll of over 600 mining and metals executives revealed that a significant 37% of management have little or no knowledge of the digital landscape. Miners understand it is about solving productivity and margin, but are applying point solutions and are not investing enough to transform. And it, and it is only when miners apply these solutions across the entire value chain to create a digital mine that they can truly transform and emerge as the dominant players in the market. What are your thoughts on this, Steve? Are companies taking digital effectiveness seriously? Yeah, I think um, yeah, it's a really interesting question and there's, there's definitely not a, a direct yes or no uh, answer to that question. But I think the important thing to take away is that there's a spectrum and, and that's really important is that there's always going to be early adopters who will try, fail and succeed and pave the way for, uh, for the, the rest of the population. So, so I think it's important just to look at that spectrum and you know, we do have those early, early adopters um, you know, really looking at how to, how to solve this problem. But you know, an interesting and significant point um, around this is that when we look at this transformation, it isn't just about the technology. So to try and apply solutions across the mining value chain it requires organisational changes um, to break down the barriers which exist. So it's, it's breaking down the barriers between the different you know, silos that exist on mines or, or within organisations. But you know, if we're we're starting, um, you know, starting small, you know, if we're starting uh, with point solutions, organisations are seeing tan you know tangible examples and the benefits from these initiatives, and then it will grow from there. So you know, we can see there's this real and growing interest for for change, um, and it's a complex and it's going to take time, uh, but it's going to be these early adopters who are going to be pushing it along. So I think you know, there's there's a real appetite for this uh, improvement in digital effectiveness. There's just so much, um, so many case studies out there at the moment on uh, successes uh, around this and what it can do. And that's only going to make things more accessible uh, for organizations to start this transformation. So just not having to pave the way entirely from ground zero all the time. So yeah, more to come on that one. Great, thanks for your insights, Steve. 
I think we might leave it here today. Steve will be at PDSC with the rest of the Acquire team, who you can catch at uh, booth number 823 if you want to talk a little bit more about digital effectiveness and our future technology roadmap, so stop on by there. You can also head to our Acquire website where you can find details about the presentation schedule at the booth, and we highly recommend you head along and check out the latest technology while there. Our team is always looking forward to networking and connecting with you all. So that's it for today. Make sure you keep an ear out for some more upcoming podcasts, which we'll record from PDAC. This one is just the start of some more coming out of the event. Listen in from the Acquire newsroom at acquire.com.au or tell your colleagues and friends to find us on Apple Podcasts. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Misha. Bye, everyone, and hope to see you at PDAC. You've been listening to Acquire's podcast, The Gym Channel. Find us at acquire.com.au.